My mom has gone home, so she gone. So it's just Alex, me, and Heidi B. And Heidi's a little bit upset, but she'll be fine once we go out. So I thought I would just give you a quick tour of the house because it's not very big and it's gone. But please excuse the mess in the kitchen. There's not really any excuse for it. Alex and I haven't actually used the kitchen because we've been eating out all the time. But um, this, we're at the end of like a month stint. My brother-in-law and sister, no, my brother and my sister-in-law were here first. And then my sister and my brother-in-law and then my parents. And I think it's just precedingly got messy and Alex and I will clean it up. But we are in the hallway. This is the front door, obviously. And this is the hallway when you come in. And then there's Heidi, the coat rack. And this used to be my granny's house. My mum is from Cumbria. And my granny made this for her and her hubby. And she used to collect like cat stuff. And that's the only thing that's left and it's really really heavy and then we have a really really like the world's smallest toilet bathroom in the world but it always smells really nice in here and the world's smallest sink that's my hand there it's like an aeroplane sink we love that and then we have the lounge area here, going on into the dining room, and yeah, that's it. But it looks out onto a lovely field, at which, and you can see the sea over there if I zoom in a bit in the background. There it is. And then, like this side bit. And then we go into the dining area here, yeah. which looks out onto our garden, which is really nice. And then there's Alex in the kitchen. We go into the kitchen. Alex got a mug today for his birthday. The Eve mug. Are you using it? Oh, not now. He said he'll take it to work. And this is the kitchen, which is quite big, but because of the two entry doorways, it's a bit difficult to have a dining table in here. But I think that they used to have like a diner bar bit there. And then an under the stairs cupboard with all our cold wear stuff. And then we have the back kitchen with dishwasher, washing machine, freezer, the dog food and things. And then in here we have a nice big garage. We like big garages. You don't get those in the south. You only get single, single garages. So we have that. <laughs> Heidi's keeping a watch. So we carry on with that hall. Up the stairs. And this is the bathroom with the coolest bath in the world. It's very big and long. And a shower and an overhead shower. And then this is the view from the bathroom, which I love. I love brushing my teeth in there. And then it's got like a cupboard. 
And then this is the smallest bedroom, which the bed just broke, so we need to change it. And the cot with the old babies. This is the biggest room. Alex and I are sleeping in. And Heidi on the floor. And then this is probably the second biggest bedroom with a nice bed in it, a bit of a walk in wardrobe at a stretch, probably. And then this bedroom here which is used as a bit of a dumping ground at the moment. We just need to have a sort out because we've got all the babies coming so everyone's just bought baby stuff and sort of left it. Basically Alex and I are the tidiers and the organisers and the fixers and everyone else just comes and dumps everything and when we came last year we organised everything but we probably won't do it this time We'll come back in December, and when the weather's obviously really cold, we'll do it again then. But it's just, we're not here for enough time to really warrant doing that. So we're not going to. Let me get back in this bedroom. So I had Alex's 30th birthday cake special made, and that lady made it and dropped it off. She's supposed to be coming at 10, so I was going to get Alex to go do something but she arrived half past nine barely but oh my god the cake looks amazing she showed me quickly I really want to show you but I don't want to see I'm sure he knows something's up but we shall see can you keep a secret yes so this is where the cake is from 3d novelty cakes And the lady's amazing, she's so nice. And this is the cake. So Alex on top of the mountain, that's so cool. With Heidi. There's a couple of herdy sheep. And me at the bottom, Obfi. How clever is that? And I think it's Victoria Sponge. That's amazing though. It's so big. Oh god. And trees and all the grass detail. How did she get that shiny? That's incredible. And she was so nice and helpful. Like I was such a nightmare. Look at the stone wall as well. It's just totally the Lake District. So these bamboo socks by Jules are so amazing. They are so comfortable and they're designed to keep your feet cool when it's hot and hot when it's cool and stop them from smelling because they have like a breathable, I don't know, they're made out of bamboo or something. Really clever and actually really work because I was wearing my woolly boots with them my woolly muck boots and they always get really really hot in them and it was quite hot yesterday and it wasn't very it wouldn't normally be very pleasant after a while because it gets so hot but these really kept it cool so I rate bamboo socks I'm sure other people must make them it's just never heard of them Heidi's so tired usually she'd be running around hysterical wanting a w-a-l-k but not today. Oh my god, I'm so excited about the cake. I can't even tell you. We're gonna go to Keswick, aren't we, Boo? That's where we're going. Nah. We've just arrived at Keswick. Heidi's very excited. <laughs> she wants to get out. She's like, come on, hurry up. But we just parked. Really change I'm going to see if I can. We are at Keswick, we're going to rent a rowboat. 
Heidi. Heidi's instincts are coming out to not chase the ducks, but to eat the pig. So we're going to rent one of these bad boys. Oh, I hate that. Heidi. Take Heidi. We're on the boat. Heidi, oh, you Heidi, move your fan. <laughs> Alex is Duffo Rower. Huh? Can't really remember. So we're in the middle of the Keswick water and some, there's an island in the middle of it and someone lives on it. They live there. <laughs> and any time they want to go to the shops or anything, they have to get a boat to the mainland. Isn't that crazy? Heidi's enjoying the ride, aren't you? Like a little mountain goat. She's been trying to drink the water as we've been going along. And we want to go to what we call Bear Grylls Island, which is in the background there. And we'll see you there. Look at this plane. It's so low. We don't, we don't want Heidi to get wet because it's horrible being in a rowboat with her on the way back when it's all wet. I don't have to concentrate. Strong man. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I could get off here. No, you're not. Lots of evidence of survival. And fires. We just popped in, we just walked into Keswick, like town centre, and we just popped into this cafe. I don't know what it's called though, but it was the first one that accepted dogs. No. <laughs> There's not many places except doggies. And we're just waiting for our latte. Lattes to arrive. If they don't arrive soon though, we'll probably leave. Because we've been waiting like 10 minutes. And we want to get on with our day. We're just a bit cold. Buggy. We're in Keswick. And there's bears. There's a market. Bear? Yeah, two. Yeah. Oh yeah, cutie bears. Let's, there's a nice shop up here. Mm. Love the lakes. I think there are two in the Lake District, two that I've seen anyway. And they have really cool um, Lake District products, which we shall show you when we get there. That cute cow. It smells really good around here. It does. There we go, this is it. We do these cool paintings. And I heard we The boat by this thing. This lake. Heavy is in the right. And they own these two dogs, the people that own the shop. We just bought something from Cherry Dee Dee. And there's a little dog in here. There he is, called Zach. And he has loads of merchandise from Zach. And I think it goes to charity. And we just bought the cutest coaster we're going to put on our wall. Little Labrador. It's porcelain. It's cute. to get, hopefully get some takeaway food from this coffee shop, the wild strawberry coffee shop. They do the best, best food ever. But 
it's a bit um, tired inside, the food's amazing. We just got to the Pheasant Inn, which apparently takes dogs near Keswick. I'm just gonna have a drink and play some golf in the pub of the hotel. It's like the beginning of the time. We're playing skip bow. Well, if you're gonna take home three points for him, if you share it with her. We just left the bar and we found this nice lounge with a wood burning stove. I sort of wish we'd stayed in here rather than the bar. Huh? Yeah, so much nicer. The bar was a bit weak. And the toilets are really nice. They have Molson Brown. And the dining rooms look nice. That's like one. Yeah. yeah, and that's another one. So it looks quite nice. I think the bar's just really, really weird. But the rest of it seems nice, apart from this, like, after taxidermy fish. I need to blow up Alex's balloons for his birthday tomorrow in secret. And he's watching Top Gear right now, so I thought. Good opportunity. I'm gonna pretend I'm going to the loo. Really badly, you need like a degree in balloon management or something. I mean, look how complicated this is. I want to make this princess first because I thought if I muck up, then at least he's not going to care about a princess. And have you seen? I mean, what the hell is that? I need sellotape. I have zero clue where sellotape would be in my life. No joke, this has taken me 20 minutes. No joke. Five more to go. I hope she was the most complicated. sort of stuff, I have to be honest. Two dinosaurs. They were bloody easy, love them. And then these candles for the cake. Oh, I'm sure we have matches. Hmm, bit of a blow if we don't. I really hit my hand on the something, can't remember what it was. Not being the bedside table. Bloody hurts. Anyway, I'm done. I don't think I'd get those balloons again. They were bloody faff. And look how dark it is now. We're supposed to be going out. Whoopsie. I was trying to creep up on her. No, she's not down here. Okay, 
I've set up Alex's present area. I think it's looking good. Look it. I've got presents from my family to give to him. I think that looks good. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is that the ogre has literally halved in size. Which is a little distressing. So hopefully I won't come down tomorrow morning and the rest will be mini and he'll have disappeared. Do you see his lips? They were like flat on his face before and now they're a bit sad. But anyway, I'm going to go now because it's quite late. It's not that late. Actually, it's only 10 o'clock. Oh, God. But um, I'm going to have a bath and then go to bed. Because I've been really tired today. We didn't really do much this afternoon because I was so tired. And Heidi's very tired too. We're all tired. So we're going to have a bath. And hopefully an early-ish night. And yeah, that's the end of today. Tomorrow, Alex is back.